Hi, I'm Alex. This is Pucks and Paperbacks, and I want to talk about where I've been this month and the Trans Rights Readathon. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably might not know about this. I know some people have been talking about it. It started on Book Talk, but I will get to all the information because I want you all to know. And I want to talk about where I've been. So let's get into the video. So this month has been rough for me. I am so disappointed and just sad because I had this whole March TBR. My March hopefuls were all planned out and then my vision just prevented me from reading pretty much. I'm so disappointed because I had a whole March hopefuls planned for middle grade March. I was so excited and then my vision just started becoming blurry and I can't read. So that's fun for me. I'm not gonna say I can't read because I have been doing it slowly. So I am like reading books and I do have some audiobooks, which has been really nice, but I really wanted to hybrid read. So I am going to get that all fixed out. I've been to the doctor and everything like that. And unfortunately I have to give this disclaimer because every time I talk about health issues and I like to talk about it very vaguely because it's not any of your business. I'm only talking about it in this video because I haven't been able to make videos or anything because I've had health issues. So I wanted to just come on and let you know that. And I need to give the disclaimer to not diagnose me in the comments because last time I had a health related issue that I vaguely talk about because I'm private and I don't need you to know all of my business. Somebody tried to diagnose me in the comments and I just don't need that. So if you were already writing that comment, you can delete it or I will delete it for you. I don't need that. You could just say something nice or just don't comment anything at all. <laughs> but yeah, that's just where I've been. It sucks because I had such a big plan for March and then my body was like, not today, not now, we're not gonna do that. So hopefully I can get that all resolved. I will let you know when that does happen. So that is why nothing has been filmed, which sucks for me, but I'm hoping to get it done this weekend because I am feeling better that I've gotten to the doctor and I have some medicine and stuff like that, which is awesome. Hopefully it's all up from here because I need some positivity. I need some positivity. I'm sure I'm not the only one dealing with this. I know it is peak L allergy season and a lot of sinus issues are happening at the moment. So if you are as well, I hope you feel better. I wish you a speedy recovery because it's not fun at all. Now let's get to why I'm really here is to talk about the Trans Rights Readathon. This was created by Sim Kern over on BookTok, but they are also here on YouTube. So I'll link both videos down below. Just all the information will be in my description for everything that I mentioned in this video. Sim has created the Trans Rights readathon which is happening from the 20th to the 27th and this is all about reading books by trans authors. Now if you want any recommendations you can click on any video on my channel. I would say start out with my best books of the year but I will link in my description my book recommendations playlist. My whole channel is dedicated to recommending queer and trans books. I mainly read YA but I do tend to recommend middle grade and adult recs as well. If you are looking for something super specific specific, you can leave a comment and I will try and answer you. But trans people are not here to give you labor, but it is best to listen to us when you are seeking out recommendations. So please check out my channel. I have so many great recommendations. I love giving book recommendations. I also have a tier where you can get a personalized book recommendation from me on my Patreon if you're interested in that. But the whole objective of the readathon is to show awareness for trans people and help trans people and organizations as at the moment in the US, trans people are being targeted. It is not safe for us. And honestly, it is so draining. If you're a trans person looking for ways to practice self-care, I'm going to link down below Ben. He is a great trans creator and I love him a lot. He has so many great resources and this one in particular talks about being a trans 
person online and how you can set boundaries with yourself. I love it so much. It's a great resource. So check that out. So the purpose of this readathon is to support trans people by reading our books and donating and supporting us at this time. But you should be supporting us all year round and by writing to your state legislators. That is one of the biggest ways that you could help us. Sim explains the whole readathon way better than I could, so definitely go and watch their video. They have put so much time and effort into this readathon, and I'm so excited. So, the purpose of the readathon is to read trans authors, but also to host a decentralized fundraiser. Now, that could be donating to an organization that you like or just helping people in their fundraising efforts. And that's where I come in because I have been searching because you know me, I love hockey and I am a big advocate for trans people in sports because it is not safe for us in sports. But the organization that I have picked does help trans people be able to play hockey and that is Team Trans. They are an awesome organization. They're an all transgender and non-binary hockey team and they are awesome. One of my favorite hockey players, Harrison Brown, is a trans man and he plays for that team. I love him. I'll try and link some resources about his story because he's awesome. Once the readathon was announced and I knew I wanted to participate, I was searching everywhere for a organization that helps trans athletes. And then I was on Instagram and a person I follow, Nikki, actually showed that they are also raising money for Team Trans. And I was like, oh my God, how did I totally forget about them? So I am going to join them. This is an individual fundraiser. I will also link theirs though, because they have a bookish incentive. So you can either donate to theirs or to mine or to both and show all of the love. Now I have two forms that I've created because I want to track my community's efforts, the Pucks and Paperbacks community and what we are doing. So there's one to track your reading and let me know what you have read. And that is for me just to track what everybody has read in the week. And then there is one to show me donation proof. Now, you can donate to Team Trans and show me proof of your donation, whether if it was for Nikki's or for mine. Now, I'm not associated with Nikki. I'm just shouting theirs out. Now, to support me in my endeavors for this readathon, you can donate to Team Trans and show me proof that you have donated. Or you could buy a book by a trans author during the week of the readathon and share your receipt, or you could do both, and that will also count. You can find so many recommendations. I have a Amazon storefront and I also have a bookshop store that is filled with my favorite trans books. So if you wanted to buy a book that I've been recommending, anything from my best books of the year or just a book that you're like, oh, Alex doesn't shut up about this book. Honestly, you could buy Icebreaker. <laughs> Is this just my campaign to get everybody to read Icebreaker? Probably. So you could buy Icebreaker by A.L. Gracia Day and that would count because they are a non-binary author. And then you could also like read it during the readathon and it doesn't have to be physical. You could honestly buy a Kindle version and that would still count as a book that you have bought. I will be donating $5 per book I read during the readathon. You can join me in doing that or you can donate a flat amount. Now, if you can't donate monetarily, I totally understand. I don't want anyone to break the bank with this, but I just want to show support for Team Trans. So one way that you could support them is follow them on social media and read up about them. I'll link some articles that talk about Team Trans and their efforts. They are awesome and I just want more people to know about them. And you can send a letter to your state representative. I honestly think that is the biggest way to help us at the moment and to just spread the word about trans people and trans lives. I hope that I've covered everything in this video. Donate to Team Trans, fill out the form so I know who is donating, and really follow me on Instagram at Pucks and Paperbacks. It really will help because I post so much there and 
that is the best way to follow me for like breaking news and things like that. So if you don't follow me already, definitely go and do that. But if you donate to Team Trans, I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your support. If you are participating in the Trans Rights Readathon, let me know one book by a trans author that you will be reading. And if it's any of the books that I've recommended, I have so many book recommendations. So feel free to binge my channel for a little bit. It would help me as a trans creator who is trying to get monetized on this channel. I also have a Patreon if you want to support me over there. I love Team Trans. I love what they're doing because being trans in hockey is so impossible and transphobic. So take the time to read about Team Trans and what they have been doing because they're such a great organization and read books by trans authors all year round. And now let's get to what I'm going to read. I've already mentioned these in my March hopefuls because I was planning to read trans books at the end of the month anyway for the queer weekend so I'm just starting early. These are actually all new releases so I have my arc of the beautiful something else by Asha Van Otterloo, Jude Saves the World by Ronnie Riley, and Camp Quill Bag by AJ Sass and Nicole Mellaby which is coming out the week of the readathon. I'm definitely going to try and have a vlog because I was going to vlog for the queer weekend so I think that is just going to be like my weekly vlog for the month but honestly the way my month is going we'll see <laughs> we'll see what happens i think that's everything you can check my description if i've missed anything but all of the information will be down below thanks for watching thanks for supporting and i hope to see you in my next video very soon feel free to hit subscribe if you want to learn more about queer and trans books and giving this video a like and comment really helps out my channel so thanks if you do I'll see you in the next video. Bye.